This is just going to be a quick video to try and help people with class racing for this Watkins Glen six hour race. Uh, the teams I'm making this for are going to be driving the LMP2, so you're the faster of the two classes. So I just kind of want to point out some safe places to make passes and do's and don'ts. Um, <clears throat> for starters, I do not recommend last second quote unquote dive bombs. Uh, you need to be to the inside of somebody before the braking zone to even consider making that pass. Uh, otherwise, you risk being turned in on, and ultimately, you're going to be the one that's at fault. Um, you, as the faster class, are responsible for making the pass safely, and you're the one that is responsible for navigating around the slower class. Uh, the general rule of thumb is that they are supposed to stick to their racing line, and you're supposed to work your way around them. There's some give and take there, uh, and you will constantly hear arguments and voice chat over who is right and who is wrong. Uh, I, I think a little bit falls on the GT cars that if you see somebody and they're potentially likely to uh, almost be there, you gotta maybe delay your turn in and kind of anticipate that there may be somebody there. Uh, but at the same time, it also falls on the LMP cars for not uh, throwing it in last second or anything like that. You can go offline and pass people around the outside in a couple places. Uh, not necessarily the most uh, time savings thing. Sometimes it's best to just wait until corner exit and uh, complete the pass. But anyways, I did out of the final turn uh usually through those last couple turns you're not going to want to set up a pass you're just going to want to wait until this straight away usually the gt cars will move to the inside or the outside and you'll just have a, a free run uh, to kind of pass at will here uh turn one you're not you just need to wait until after the exit of this turn there's unless you're to the inside of somebody uh, before the braking zone or when it, into the brake. Best off just waiting. Now, as you exit the turn here, is going to be you can do it before you get into turn two here, uh, either to the inside or the outside, kind of depending on how close to them you are. What you don't want to do is have four car lengths before you on the exit of one and then your last second trying to throw it in here. That's where the whole give and take thing comes. So what I will say here is you don't want to throw it up the inside of somebody here, uh, especially as they're starting to they're turn in because they may turn into you uh, and then you're, you're probably both going to end up destroyed and it's going to block the track and it's going to ruin of other people's races. So I definitely do not suggest there. So here is going to be a common place where you may catch people. Um, so say a GT car is on the inside here and they're setting up for the inside of this like left-hander before uh, the right-hander lead onto the straight. The best thing you can do here is to not go around the outside here not necessarily the safest best thing to do is to just wait because the gt car is naturally gonna then drift over to the right side of the track and hug the curb so your best bet is to just hug this curb to the left and then just go around their outside here um, bus stop is another area where you need to be safely underneath somebody before you decide that you're gonna try and pass them into the braking zone. Uh, I can guarantee you in your race, someone is going to get wrecked by somebody here. And it's even within the same class, people uh, wreck each other. Just a very common place to happen. Through the bus stop itself, you're not going to go in and pass your tick. Um, into the carousel, outer loop, whatever the heck you want to call it. Uh, most of your passes on GT cars as an LMP car here are going to be just around their outside. There's quite a bit of space. Um, 
trying to think what I would call this. I guess this would be the laces. Is I what. Um. I would say that if you aren't able to get to somebody's inside in time for the corner, you probably just want to get to an exit. Uh, there's no sense in trying to for instead of Paul. There's no reason trying to go around their outside here. It's just not going to gain you much. Uh, if you do happen to be right on somebody, what you can do is on the exit of here, the GT car is going to naturally drift back to the left to set up for the braking zone. You Get to the right, and that'll just give you the inside. Right. More than likely, if you're close enough, you're going to complete your pass, and then you can move uh, to set up for your braking zone. What I do not suggest is moving over last second before the braking marker, um, because that's just asking for you to get run over. And then you're going to be mad at them, they're going to be mad at you, you're going to yell at each other some. In reality, you as the LMP car at fault most times in that instance because you just should uh it's okay to move over some but i would not move your car completely into their line of uh, path for their breaking because again if you're doing it last second you're just asking to be run over now if you have a two or three car length uh gap over them by all means Here, I have seen people, um, if you don't manage to get to their inside, I have seen people pass around the outside here to varied success. Uh, this is kind of a blind corner, so I've also seen people get into one another here and spin out, and then the track's blocked when people behind me. So, proceed with caution and at your own risk. Um, I don't necessarily recommend it. It's probably best to just wait until the corner exit. Um, and then on the exit here, this is a fairly long little straight. Same same deal. GT car is usually going to stay to the left here. You can just pass them on the right side. Here, um, during the turn itself, I don't recommend trying to complete the pass what you are able to do though is kind of set yourself up for the next turn to be position your car where you need to be so if you're close enough to them here um they're gonna exit out to the left and then drift back to the right to set up you can just stay to the left and get under them um that's probably the safest place to do it. I don't recommend trying to go around their outside. It's hit the braking zone and you're trying to gain ground while you're also braking and getting back into throttle because on the exit of this turn specifically is this is just an off camera turn so it angles away from you so the car is naturally wanting to push out wide and uh, very common for somebody to push out uh, a little bit and they make contact and just don't want to do that. Uh, second to last turn here, another turn, I just don't really recommend trying to pass in the turn itself. You either need to be to their inside comfortably so that you have position or you just need to be patient kind of stick right close to them. exit here they're going to naturally drift to the left here um, and if you just kind of stay to the right you'll be able to get to their inside and complete the pass uh, either in the braking zone final turn on the exit of the final turn or you can just be patient and wait um, and then just complete it down the front straight away. That is really it. Um, just be careful. Don't do anything dumb. But just know incidents do happen. Uh, your goal is to minimize the risk and ultimately if you lose two seconds in a lap because you got trapped behind a GT car, it's better than throwing it in there and getting wrecked and getting suspension damage and getting 
eight minutes of repairs and going down multiple laps. All about the big picture.